Well, hello everyone. <clears throat> Today's patch is really utilizing the octal switch as a means of turning different parts on and off. Essentially gating them. So I have one input plugged in and the other one is left open. In theory, this could be done with VCAs. Uh, the problem with that though is that a VCA is only open as long as the gate is high. So if you're using triggers, you just get a short blip. And the switches will just, when they receive a trigger, they change state and remain there until the next trigger comes in and they flop back and forth so you get the full duration of that cycle or the period between the triggers or the rising edge of the gates. I've got the 8-bit cipher and the Dresno and a clock divider and this patch is the result of several sessions of tinkering with it, shutting it down, coming back later, turning it back on, tinkering with it some more. There's my kiltering plug. Uh, this is a copy of the reset output from grids, which I have to use to synchronize all of the clocks in the QCD to get everything rhythmically together every time I power up the system. And I can't tell you what is triggering what because, like I said, it's been a couple of days and this is a mess. And I'm not gonna try to trace cables. I know a couple of Dresno gates are controlling the tonic. But anyway, um, in most of these clock divisions are toggling the switches. I have five switched channels and this sound from the sampler. And they are all going through this homemade mixer in an old VHS case. Uh, so I could adjust their volumes relative to each other and funnel that into one channel of mixology. Uh, this channel is the rhythm section, I think, yes, rhythm section, uh, my three, three grids patterns, T-Kick, Hat, and the Chaos Nand going through the LXD, and then the output of that's going through the MMF, and then to the mixer. Um, one other thing. I didn't just discover this, but I don't think I had mentioned it before. The one annoyance about the STS up here, it doesn't remember which banks you were using when you power it down. I tried to do the, you know, the, the save settings procedure, and that it doesn't save the banks, when it boots up, they boot up to white, the first bank. And you have to shuttle through there and find the ones you were using. If you cycle power at any point during uh, working on a patch. So I had to write down on a piece of paper which colored banks they were. But anyway, a minor complaint. I just wish that it remembered where it was when you powered it down. Uh, this channel of mixology is the E950 in circuit mint talking mode. I'm using microburst as an effect, that granular delay and reverb. And... I've also got an action over here. If I trigger this channel of Rampage. How do you survive that? 
it closes down the filter and then after the fall after the the rise ends the falling trigger fires off that sample of Tyrannicon saying how do you survive that and that's sort of my break that I built and uh, it could also be the grand finale I'm gonna set the camera down so I can use both hands turn it up a bit now that rubbery sounding bass is the life forms and the filters being controlled by the neuron with a uh, a synchronized LFO coming from function and uh, the envelope and another LFO are all being mashed up together in the neuron. That. And there you go, the grand finale. Um, thanks to my patrons for financing most of this. And thanks to you guys on YouTube for watching. Remember to like, click that like button if you liked it. And uh, I'll catch you next time.